So it's been two weeks since we put the new wheels on the CRV. Um, today we're gonna try to adjust the suspension and get her to be a little bit lower, um, better fitment and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna back her up and get her up in the air. What's exciting is we finally get to bust these babies out and get ready to uh, fix the rear camera. I don't know if I can get this one down here. There they are. Aren't they pretty? I don't know that you'll even be able to see them. But um, once I get to a point where I can do it and I have all of the pieces put together, I really want to do a rear breast, blah, 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 rear disc brake conversion and do the same power stop with the red powder coated uh, calipers. I think that's gonna look great. But that's how she sits now. We'll see how she sits once we're done. It's kind of exciting. Um, I was telling my mom about our plan to lower the CRV and she was like, isn't your car already like kissing the ground? I'm like, just you wait, just you wait and see. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> I'm so excited to put these in though. Big upgrade guys, big upgrade. One side is almost done. We still have to drop the coilovers out in order to lower them. You can see how much room we have to lower, but that out guys isn't she a beaut side two done one out one to go all right guys so Have i actually maxed out yeah the coil over oh we've got the adjustable I'm not gonna shit then. camera arms in let's put the wheels on and drop it i remember how to get Give me, give me, give me, give me. Sign up. Oh, what's up, guys? You know, it's your boy. The one, you know, the mechanic one, you know what I'm saying? Got this guy over here supervising, trying to take my job. Then you got Raquel. What's up, Raquel? What are you doing, Raquel? Putting a wheel on. Putting a wheel on? So amazing. This, this, video is this video is sponsored by Bud Light. Drop that beat. Drop it? Drop it. Well, slowly, please. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Damn. That fitment, though. Hey. <laughs> hey, guess what? That wasn't too drastic. I could. I'm not sure if you guys can see. It's kind of dark. But we lowered it by about half an inch in the front. It's definitely rubbing on turns. But I'm overall pretty happy with where it sits. So, huh? Yeah, it's probably just rubbing on the wheel well, but... I'm pretty happy with it, so we'll see in the daytime what it looks like since we lost light, but yeah. Alright, so we're about to go to the junkyard. Um, we're going to pack a little tool bag to take with us. Um, we want to pick up some stuff for the CRV. Now that it's sitting a little bit nicer, I want to start putting together some of the cosmetic stuff that I need to complete, like getting the piece that I lost from here. Um, so we're going to do that. I'm going to see if they might have front mud flaps. One of them has full leather interior and I might just see if there's a price list on how much it would be to buy the seats. <sighs> do I need them? No. But if they're in good condition, should I get them? Probably not financially a good decision, but... I mean, when are car hobbies good financial decisions? Don't worry guys, I'm not driving. So, might as well, you know, relax a little bit on my one day. I had an eight and a half hour school day yesterday. So this is my one day off. I've already cooked and cleaned, started laundry, gone grocery shopping. But now it's time to have some fun.
And it's a beautiful day here. It's like probably what, 70 yeah. and breezy and sunny and a clear sky. It is like literally just the most beautiful day. We were at the store and we were kind enough to start collecting grocery carts to put them into the grocery cart like area because yeah, one of them was like literally behind another truck and I'm like, they're not even gonna probably see that. So we were just trying to do, you know, a good deed of the day. But I'm like, it's so nice out. Let's just go ahead and help out, you know? But yeah, so we'll uh, pick back up at the junkyard. Welcome to the yard, ladies and gentlemen. This is our go-to spot. Anytime we need anything, pretty much. Which is honestly kind of surprising that we've never vlogged in the junkyard. I mean, I think you usually are the one that- I usually come by myself. Yeah. I just go, hey, I need some stuff, and then you go and get it. <laughs> I do all the hard work. Yeah, manual labor. Of course. Of course. Anything old enough to have an H22 or H23 in it. <laughs> Front mud flaps. Did somebody really take the valve cover gasket? Somebody really took this off and took the valve cover gasket. Oh no, it's sitting here. No, they, they took the cam. Yeah, they took the cam. The table is still here for any of my CRV friends that. Uh, I mean, we might as well take it. Not popping. Oh, it's broken anyways. Yeah. For any of you that didn't know, CRVs come um, pre-installed with tables. Somebody's sending it. I'll just show you guys once I get it off. So I got my two little trim pieces. We found the second CRV. It's leather, guys. Leather. I mean, it's like leather. I mean, these back seats would probably clean up pretty easy. What, the hitch? Nope. It's more underneath. Is it all wheel drive? Yep. Real time four wheel drive. I want a four wheel drive. Yeah, these back seats are like. Those can clean up easy. Yeah, the fronts, I mean, aren't in the best shape. I mean, you can get them redone. Leather again. Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. That's pretty freaking worn. Yeah. Oh. Run mud flaps! <laughs> I don't know if you can even like understand how excited I am about front mud flaps. Like, it seems so stupid and so simple, but it makes such a difference. Like, we should paint them a color. Red or purple. Like the Subarus. You know how they have like the STI ones or the WRX ones? Just make a statement with them. Yeah! Okay. I'm pretty excited. So far, so good. We got pretty much everything I wanted to come in here for. It's literally just such a beautiful day to be at the junkyard. 
you haven't ever walked around a junkyard, you should. It's three bucks to get in ours. Totally worth all of the entertainment. Sometimes there's some pretty serious accidents and they have like the interior closed off with biohazard warnings. Those are sketchy to see, but um, for the most part, it's just cool to see all the different cars, you know, mutilated. <laughs> it's just, it's weird. It's just a different, it's like a whole nother world. You feel like scavengers in like the middle of nowhere after an apocalypse. I feel like that's a pretty accurate description. Mmm, 3000 GT. Mm. I wanted to see what happens when a car catches on fire. That. This. This is what happens. Literally melting. Not a good time. No fun. No wood, no. Alright, so I'm back to my old habits of recording videos and then while I'm sitting and editing them realizing that I didn't conclude our day with you guys so that last bit of the burnt car was actually at the second junkyard we went to um our pick your parts are right next to it there's a LKQ pick your part one and then there's a pull and go I was labeled junk in case you wanted to know um that we went to and I have to say without saying too much, that I bought something there that's gonna be a big game changer. And literally the whole ride home was just me freaking out about what's about to go down. And I'll have to catch you guys up on next week or whenever I get around to it, once we, you know, have it ready to be shown. But this is gonna be huge, guys. I am so excited. There's only like two people besides Javier and I that know about this and yeah just just wait just wait for the excitement and I will fill you guys in later